For 50 years, Johnny's Broiler was one of L.A.'s true car culture landmarks. Built in the 50s, Johnny's driving style also holds a special spot in the heart of many locals. Um, me and my parents, we have, uh, we grew up and my parents remember actually coming here and stuff. Downey City officials say that Johnny's owner, Christos Mirniotis, began demolishing the restaurant a year ago, even though he lacked a proper permit. Police stopped the teardown, but the site had to be quarantined to avoid any asbestos or electrical danger. Now Johnny's brother has become nothing more than an eyesore for Downey residents and nearby business owners. I, I guess it bothers a lot of people that come in to, to our, our customers because they see that why am the, the city taking care of this as soon as possible? They're just seeing that day in, day in, day and night. In fact, some local business owners like this Jiffy Lube see that they have to mulch site is costing them business. And a lot of customers kept on asking us, well, why is it in lockdown? And they were more curious about that and about their cars. So, There have been numerous campaigns to salvage the site and rebuild their beloved landmark. But it was not until recently that city council members finally entered into a contract to do just that. However, Downey residents still express discontent as to how the city has handled the whole situation. And everybody does talk about it, and we kind of wish that it never happened, and it was a good hangout spot and stuff. So. Although the owner has issued a public apology and the demolition company has been fined, some residents believe that some of the damage cannot be repaired. But with such a landmark like this, you know, it, of course it's going to hurt the city, man. Of course. It's, it's going to hurt you emotionally, financially, in every way, man, you know, so... After a year of questions, the city has finally given the citizens of Downey hope for their diner's future. However, until the actual reconstruction process begins, it will continue to be just a nostalgic memory of better times. This is Patricia Padilla reporting.